Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 46. Inside this video session guys, we have to work on the Add Theme Customizer option for our product panel. Now if I back to editor, now as we know that in the previous videos, we have worked over this new arrival section as well as popularity section. These are the things or the panels we have integrated by the help of a sort code. Inside this sort code, we have a limit attribute as well as a column attribute. Inside this limit, as we can see here, we have a integer or its numeric value. So right now, this is a static value of limit equal to 4 and columns equal to 4. But if someone wants to change this number, he or she needs to go inside this index.php file, which is not a good idea. So we need to give a customizer panel option so that he and she can control the numbers from that panel. Now if you go inside this appearance, customize. And inside this customizer panel, already we have worked of this copyright section. From this section, from this setting and by the help of this control, we have controlled our copyright text and here is the output. So in the same way, we need to add a section of controlling all about new arrival, let's say limit and the column in the same for the popularity, limit and the number of columns. So back to editor, go to functions.php file. Now inside this functions.php, this is the function we have created and inside this function we are passing global WordPress object. By the help of this object, we are calling methods called add section, add setting and add control. This is all about our copyright settings. And finally, we have called this function by the help of action hook called customize register. Now what I will do, as we know that we have to create a panel where we can control the limit and the columns of this new arrival. So go to functions.php. I will go and copy all the code like add action, setting and control. Copy that. Go here. Let's add a single line or multi-line comment. Let's say section of new arrival slash popularity control limit and columns after this comment i will go and paste all here now we need to understand something the thing is that we have a section inside this section we need to add a setting and inside that setting we have only a single control so this time for this new arrival, we want a limit and a column. So here, we have two controls. So if I back to functions.php, now this is a global section. Inside this section, we need to add the first setting for our let's say limit. And inside that setting, we need to register a control that will be for the limit. In the same section, in the same section, we need to add another setting which is going to control for this column and one more control for the column. So let's say that here we have sec underscore copyright. So this is the section. So we need to tell that this is a section which is going to control. Let's say that product underscore panel. Here we will have inside this title. It should be something product panel limit and let's say columns here we have inside this description let's say this is a section which is going to provide the controls for home page product panels Next we need to go inside this add setting. Inside this add setting method, the first we need to pass our setting ID. So this is the setting for our new arrival. And remember, inside this new arrival, this is for the limit first. 
so here listen new arrival underscore limit next we have a type called theme mod default value will be blank means empty and inside the sanitize callback as we know that this time we are going to take the numeric value so we need to pass instead of sanitize text field we need to write absolute int here next we need to go inside this control and inside this control we need to pass the setting id here here we will have let's say product limit and this is for new arrival so let's say new arrival minus or dash product limit so this is all about the label name and the description so please provide the limit of new arrival next we have to pass the section name so this is the section called product panel copy and paste and this time instead of text it will be number now if we save this change go inside admin customizer panel now if I reload as we can see here we have a new optional panel called product panel limit and columns now if we go inside that we have new arrival product limit by the help of this control and setting we are going to control the new arrival and go to index.php the limit number now the same we need to make a setting and a control for this columns as well so go here inside this functions.php we need to register another setting and a control for that so if i copy the whole code pasting it here this time this is for the column so let's say column and if we copy this setting id passing it here section will be same and this time this is instead of product limit it will be product columns so let's say that the columns of new arrival now if we save all these changes back here reload this page now we have a section of product panel limit go inside this we have two settings and inside those two settings we have two different controls the first for product limit and the second for product column so the same we need to repeat for the other part something called popularity inside that we have a limit and column so the same code we need to repeat for this popular products so back to functions.php copy hold the thing pasting it here this time this is the setting for not new arrival this is for popular section instead of column we want limit first because here we will have limit and the columns so the first setting we need to create for this limit copy and paste the setting id inside this control this is also going to contain the numeric value so all the settings will be same and here we will have new arrival instead of new arrival this is popularity and this is products limit go here this is of popularity section will be the same because inside the same section inside this product panel limit we are going to add the settings and the controls so here we have done with the popularity limit next we need to copy the same settings and control pasting it here this time this is for the number of columns so here it should be columns copy the settings id pasting inside this control and this is let's say product columns number of columns this is not the number of columns here we will have provide the limit and here provide the columns now if we save all these changes go and reload this and if we click on this product panel limit and columns now we will have new arrival product limit which indicates or substitute the value for this limit and if you go to another control we have product columns which is the value for this columns next we have called 
popularity product limit which is off for this limit popularity section of this limit and finally for the columns we have this column value for this here now in the next video we will save the value from this customizer panel into the database and render the respective value here so that we can control the value of these things from customizer panel instead of writing as a static value inside this index.php file so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day